let's make it very simple. Like what you're really looking to do is just cultivate energy because the energy is what's needed to make the manifestation happen. And then the actual faculty that's used to manifest something that actually becomes out perfect rather than the monkey's ball or something that you don't want doesn't it's not attached to the mind so the main thing that personally what i do is i just build energy through the breathing and through those kind of techniques so that way i'm i see i see this visually i don't i don't take the small pieces of it of you know i need a new car or i got to get out of this apartment what i look at is how much energy do you have because that's your current that's why they call it current c that's what controls most of what people can do around the world right it's the alchemical correspondence of dirt into gold that was created as a as it being an identical it's, that's what they call it, a dollar or a doll a doll it's an actual it's supposed to be identical to what a human being is but a talisman a piece of paper it's got the signature on it it's got the magnetic strip it's got every single it's got the, the trees it's got everything that it needs to become alive that's the god and but the god is it, you see it's real because <laughs> it's functioning throughout the world so the current in the body so you have to look you, you know you have to look exactly at how that began and what that's synonymous to what is the as above nature to it so let's just not assume that there's not money in heaven per se let's just assume that there's another correspondence to it and that's energy so based on the person's root chakra and how much energy the root chakra can give off so that it can burn up the toxins and also put a light into the netherworld the body is a map so the legs are the netherworld the upper part of the body is is, is you know it is what it is so that central area which is like the hearth it, that's really where your passion and all of that that comes in that gives you the energy that's necessary to penetrate through these manifestate and bring these manifestations through. So, and so just briefly, there's an inception point. That's when the idea is conceived. When you think of the idea, then there is the act, whatever the act is that actually creates the signature of, of attempting to bring this idea through the realms. Once, if that act is strong enough, and this is why kids are born because of the passion between when the two came together, it gives off a light. And when that light is given off, the being flies into it, the subjective force magnetizes to it, and it comes in as an incarnation. So this process, then, in order to get control of it, you need basically just a fuel canister, if you may, something to be able to regulate how you're gliding through these spaces and experiences and so that's really what the real horoscope astrology or astronomy really was it's looking at basically the map to the future so you can s determine where you're going to go next like you can't just get on the freeway and keep driving straight you know you're going to hit something so what this stuff is and it, it's even being discredited now but what, what all this is and you can see it in the astrolabe it's just the core it's the coordinates to calculate your process and wherever you want to go based on what frequency you want it's like it's a real time machine we you know we're through the way you know our jewels have been robbed this is the simplest way to explain it if you want to understand it metaphorically from if anyone wants to call them live on the forces and all this crazy stuff but truly your chakras which are your memories those are the gems they can be taken by ideas and idolons, you know, other things that want to take your power. And then it's not about you anymore. Like, it's not about your story. It's about Jesus' story and about Muhammad's story and about God's story. And the story is no longer central. So when you don't have a central part of the vortex, this is like a tire that whops. It's like off. So it can't get above a certain speed. You know, you try to take a car with an imbalance up to a certain speed. It can't get over that speed. So what you got to do is you, what, you balance it out. You put weights on it. This is symbolic of the troubles and even the, in the workout, the weights that you add to get larger and stronger. You know, whatever technique that you're using. And so even you could sit there, you know, and this is just about how stressed out you really are about the situation and how much you feel like you can do something about it. That's what I'm trying to get to here is that the motivation becomes the key because all of this stuff, it's an idea. If I give you an idea that you just want a million dollars and you really believe it's happened, we talk about this, you're not even going to go to sleep. You're going to be feeding off this energy that is really superfluous or it's non-existent. But... That's how we work. If we're excited about meeting somebody and we can't wait to see her or can't wait to see him, that energy is real and tangible. And, and it's all cooked up by our minds. So that can be times 10. It can be times 15 when we get gain back control of who we are. 
And then that's what I'm saying. So, the, so that kind of energetic potential is enough to birth something. Because what does the birth have? What does it correspond to? Labor. <laughs> so you got a lot of people, they want to manifest, right? But they don't want to work. Oh, this is dangerous. Because that's actually what leads to this fake magic, <laughs> basically believing that it was created by another force and then giving that force credit that it actually created it. So now what you're doing, that's why all those words are related to banking. You've now given credit to something else. So it's now broke. That's your broker. It broke your energy cycle. Basically, it becomes that Eve angel or what's between you and the source. It's governing you. The bodies can even be this way. Anything can take on that persona if it gets out of control. The easiest way to get, you know, if things are, you want things to change, you drop weight. And it's always going to be plasma. Like you just find plasma. And where plasma is too slow and you reduce it from all of your intake. This even is water. Water is another form of plasma. You distill the water, remineralize, or, you know, I'm not even going to get into that, but river water, spring water, that's clean, whatever. You go back to the elements and get the purest sources of those elements. You're on a mission. This is like now MacGyver. you got to find the parts. <laughs> so this is why it's called the quest. Like, I, I, there's no, oh, it's going to be okay, or here, get this, this poem and this mantra and this trinket, and you're going to be, you see how many thousands of people? The thing is that I'm a good observer. So if the trinkets and the stuff, the mandalas, even though those do go to another world when you get on the right frequency, but if those things were really so useful, then you would see hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that were going into the higher levels of consciousness. The most useful things is being in your right, left mind, meaning being back in the center of yourself and at the wheel rather than being, a, a being looking at everything else and how everyone else is functioning and trying to compare that to yourself. Because when you're in infinity and you're trying to figure out how you want to be next to infinity, you don't have a stable point. And we've all been through this. This is like the, even the first part of the awakening. You're, you're so not grounded. You didn't bust through the crown chakra. You... And then everyone's just having a hard time harmonizing with you. You let everyone go because you're no longer on their frequency. And then for a while, that seems like where you want to be. But the real ones, there's a certain point where they, they have to come back. They have to do their work. That's when the compassion kicks in. It's like, you know what? This is great. This is fine. It's dandy. I just saw something even walk through the ocean. You know, I know how to take myself out the back door by holding my breath. I can get right out of my body within a couple of breaths. But all of this is nothing if my friends can't enjoy it. 